Hello, Lisette. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Hoy me escucha. Sí, me escucha. Le, sí, le escucho perfectamente. Yo le había atravesado algo al cel, por eso no había nada de nada. Ah, ok. But you can fix it. Congratulations. Pero todo nice. Ok, excelente. Hello, hello, Carla. Good evening. Hello, Evelyn, Mateo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? So, so, teacher. So, so, oh, okay. And you, Abigail, so, so. how are you today? So, so. Okay, I have excellent. And Mateo, how are you today? Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I'm um, great today. Okay, thank you. And Roxana Abigail, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, I'm happy you are good. Okay, you must be happy today. Today is our last class. Today is our last virtual session. Hoy es nuestra última clase, right? So, to say hurra for that. Nobody is happy for that? Yeah, I'm happy. Okay. Tomorrow you are going to go to bed early, right? At 6 p.m. Or at 7 p.m. Or you will miss your classmate? Will you miss your classmate? Yes, son, teacher. Yes, okay. Son yes. of them, son of them, or nobody. <laughs> okay. Some of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are waiting for your classmate. Bueno, con la plataforma, verdad? El tiempo se acabó. The time is over. I hope you have already finished the exercises and the evaluation on the platform. Espero que ya hayan terminado eso, ¿verdad? Que ya esté finalizada la plataforma y el examen. Porque el tiempo se acabó. Tenían hasta las 8. ¿verdad? At 8 p.m. today to finish that part. So congratulations because you did it, I am sure. I am sure you did a great job solving those exercises, watching those videos, taking the evaluation, and I'm sure that you learned a lot of things there. Levanten la manita, ¿quién aprendió en la plataforma? ¿Quién aprendió en las clases virtuales? Nothing? Ah, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Bueno, algunos temas probablemente ya los conocían, ya los habían visto antes, ¿verdad? Pero recuerden que entre más practiquemos, eh, mejor vamos a hacer. ¿verdad? En el idioma, we are going to grow up in the language. So, it's important to practice. Todo lo que aprendimos en la plataforma, lo que vimos en las sesiones virtuales, es importante que lo practique, ¿verdad? So to practice that. Si usted no lo practica, se le va a olvidar de nuevo. Y en el siguiente curso ya no se va a acordar. Hello, Verónica. Good evening. Melida Saray. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hey, I want some water too.
Well, in today's class, we are going to have a review of some of the topic we study, we study during this course. And so let's start with that then. Nobody have a problem uh, with the platform. Everyone can see the diploma. Todos ya pudieron ver su diploma, ya vieron que lo pueden imprimir sin ningún problema. O no han revisado esa parte todavía. Carla yes, say yes, Verónica say yes. Y los demás ya revisaron esa parte. Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you, Rexana. Bueno, si tienen algún problema, ¿verdad? El grupo de WhatsApp va. Lizeth Esmeralda, ok, es Lizeth. Bueno, aquí acaba de terminar de llover. Things. Bueno, eh, si tienen algún problema con el diploma, ¿verdad? Para imprimirlo, el grupo va a estar habilitado unos días más para que usted pueda escribir ahí si tiene algún problema para imprimir su diploma. Si no hay ninguna pregunta más, podemos comenzar. No questions. No questions. Ok. Excelente. Yes, a second. Okay, here we go. So let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Just a second. We are going to hide this part. Okay, this is the topic for today. Final review of the course. This is your class 16. And we're going to start right now here. Okay, the first topic we studied during this course was the future tense, and we're going to have today a review of this. ¿Se acuerdan de la estructura para hacer una oración utilizando el going to? ¿Quién se acuerda de esa estructura? Oh, can, you, can you tell me an example of using going to? To say a future plan. I'm future going future. to church on Sunday. Oh, okay, excellent. I'm going to go to the church on Sunday. Thanks. Then we are going to need a subject, a verb, going to, a verb, and a complement. And that's it, right? We learned that subject, verb, going to, verb, and complement. And she said, I am going to go to the church. That was the example she said. So look at this. Uh, who wants to read this example? I am going to have a party. Let's see another example. You are going to come to my party. She is going to buy some drinks. He is going to buy some snacks. It is going to be fantastic. We are going to cook roasted meat and they are going to make the salad. So all of them are future intention or plans. And we use the verb be to form this type of way of sentences. I am going to have a party. You are going to come to my party. She is going to buy some drinks. He is going to buy some snacks. It is going to be fantastic. We are going to cook roasted meat. They are going to make salad. So how to make negative sentences? We are going to need a subject. They will be again. Going to plus a verb, plus a complement, and this. The particle not. La partícula not para hacer la negación. Oh, we learned all of these things. And I have here four examples for you. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. No voy a celebrar Navidad este año. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. Like the Grinch. 
no quiero celebrar la Navidad. So she is not going to have a birthday party. Ella no va a tener una fiesta de cumpleaños. He isn't stay at home the next holiday. They aren't going to travel to Europe. Estas son planes o intenciones que no van a suceder. So let's go to questions. To make a question, um, in future tense, we are going to need the verb be, subject, going to, a verb, and a complement, and the question mark. We already learned this. To make a question, we're going to, we're going to write first the verb be, as you can see in the examples. A volunteer to read the examples. Who wants to read the examples? Voluntario para leer los ejemplos, please. Are you going to go shopping? All of them, please. All of them. Is she Hello. going to buy clothes? Are they going to use their credit card? Is he going to buy a car? Are we going to go to the supermarket? Thank you very much. So let's answer the first question. Let's answer the first question. Are you going to go shopping? What's the correct question for that question? Sorry, what's the correct answer for that question? Are you going to go shopping? Yes, I, I'm going to go shopping. Thank you. That is a right answer. Thank you very much. Is she going to buy clot? What are the possible answers? No, no, she isn't. Thank you. No, she isn't. Um, oh, yes. Yes. Yes, she is. Thanks a lot. Are they going to use their credit card? Are they going to use their credit card? What's the answer? If the question is with they, the answer is going to be with they. So can you tell me the yes, answer? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Thanks a lot. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is he going to buy a car? Is he going to, is he going to go buy a car? That is, sorry, Luis and go the bird. Is he going to go by car? Irá él en carro? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he is or no he? Yes. Isn't. Yes. Okay, yes, he is or no he isn't. Yes. Thanks a lot. And the last, are we going to go to the supermarket? Yes, we are. Yes, we are or no, we aren't. Those are the possible answers. Uh, do you remember uh, how do we call this kind of question? ¿Se acuerdan cómo llamamos a este tipo de preguntas? Do you remember that part? No, then let me tell you. Can you please repeat? Okay, we call them yes, no question, right? I'm sorry, but okay. Um, I can listen to you very well, but thank you. So this type of question is yes, no question types. Then we have the other type of question, which is information questions, and we are going to need a WH word which are what, why, when, who, which. Those are the WH work. And we're going to need the verb being, subject, going to, a verb, complement, and also the question mark. And I have here some example. What are you going to do for Christmas? How are you going to spend your weekend? 
where are you going to travel? Where are you going to travel? So I have these three examples, which are information questions. Este tipo de preguntas no podemos responder yes or no. You have to give information. And that's why the name. So number one, what are you going to do for Christmas? What are you going to do for Christmas? I am going to go at the restaurant with my family. Okay, excellent plan. I'm going to go to a restaurant with my family. Thank you. Any, uh, anyone can answer this question? What are you going to do for Christmas? <laughs> I am going to visit to my parents. Okay, excellent. Excellent plan. I'm going to visit my parents. Any other answer? Any other answer on this part? What are you going to I do for Christmas? I am going to stay in my house with my family. Okay, I'm going to stay at home with my family. Thank you. And the second question, how are you going to spend your weekend? How are you going to spend your weekend? ¿Cómo va a usar el tiempo de su fin de semana? El próximo fin de semana, the next weekend. And you say, I'm going to listen to music. I am going to watch movies. I am going to the supermarket. Okay, excellent. I'm going to go to the supermarket. Which other plans or intention do you have for the next weekend? I am, I am going, going to, to the beach. I am going to go to the beach. Carla, can you please repeat your sentence? I am going to play with my son. Okay, excellent plan. I am going to play with my son. Any other plan or intention for the next weekend? Practice, practice, you have to practice. Remember that. The more you practice, the I am, better. I am, I am going to the movies in my family. Okay, excellent. I am going to go to the movies with my family. Excellent. So let's see, in the future, if in the future, if you have the chance to go to another country, where are you going to travel? ¿A dónde viajaría? So where are you going to travel? ¿Dónde vas a viajar? I am going to Belize. I am going to go to Belize. Is that the correct sentence? Anyone want to travel? I, I am going to travel um, Paris. Okay, I'm going to travel to Paris. Anyone? Nobody want to travel in this group? No quieren viajar, conocer otros lugares? Okay. I, am I am going to, to travel to Japan. Oh, I am going to travel to Japan. I am going to travel to Europe. Europa? Europe. 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 Okay, excellent plans. I am going to travel to Europe. And she is going to she's going to know um, England, Spain, Germany, France. Yes. Oh, I okay. also know the Dinamarca, uh, Spain, um, Italy, um, Turkey. Okay, excellent. So Turkey, Denmark, and Spain, and you say Italy. Okay, nice. 
beautiful countries. They are beautiful countries in Europe. So let's see in this part, we are going to have a couple of questions. We're going to discuss this. A second. Okay, using going to the expression going to, and uh, let's discuss some question. What are you going to do tomorrow, for example? Who wants to answer that question? What are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to work. Okay, excellent. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to work very hard. I'm going hard. to work to... Very hard. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go work. Okay. Any other plans for tomorrow? Plans or intention? I work all day. <laughs> Solo trabajar, okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, right. Okay. Bueno, ánimo. Mañana ya es martes, ¿verdad? Ya pasó el lunes. Okay. So be happy. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Okay. Uh, what about for the next year? Do you have any plans for the next year? And you say, I am going to. I am going to buy a house. I am going to buy a car. I am going to have uh, two weeks or vacation. I am going to travel to Honduras, to Guatemala. Anybody has plans for the next year? For next year, 2022? Yes, I am going to travel to visit my son in Europe. Okay, excellent plan. ¿Cómo se dice Semana Santa? Eh, Easter week. Easter week. Yes. So, you are going to travel on, on Easter week. Yes. Okay. I hope so. Bon voyage, friend. Buen viaje. <laughs> Enjoy your trip. Enjoy your trip to Europe. Uh, any other student have a plan for the year 2022? Yes, teacher, we are going to continue working. That's the plan. <laughs> and um, have a good health. Ah, okay, I'm going to have a good health. Yes. Okay. So let's continue then with the presentation. We're going to study the next topic. That was the, talking about the future with the with going to with the verb be plus going to. So let's see what is the other topic here. Okay, hablando de buena salud, talking about health problems review. Do you remember some of them? Yes. So, yes. Which one do you remember, for example? Headache. Backers, stomach ache, stomach ache, stings. Any other? Eat it. Okay. The okay. flu. The flu. Yes. Sore throat. Sore throat. Diarrhea, como se dice. Diarrhea. 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 Yes, that's the worst. Any other? So let's see. Uh, do you remember the two questions to ask about cuál es el problema de salud? What's the matter? What's the matter? Okay, and the other What's option. Wrong? Thank you. What's wrong? What's the matter? What's and wrong? What's wrong? Do you remember how to answer these two questions? What's the matter? What's wrong? I have. Okay, excellent. We use the verb have to answer those questions. What's the matter? What's wrong? So you say, I have a coat. Oh, she no. has a rash. He has a package. So look at the girl on the corner. What's the matter with her? 
Toothache. Okay, she has a tooth age. Look at the next one. What's the matter with her? What's the matter with her? Can you please repeat? She has a stomach. She has a stomach age. Yes, she has a stomach age. She's suffering. Put up here. Let's see the next picture. What's the next picture? Okay, look at her. What's the matter with her? She has a flu. Oh, yes, she has a flu. And what's the matter with him? He has a headache. He has a headache. He has a headache. He has a headache. Okay. So in this part, we study these two questions. What's the matter? What's wrong? And also we study as an adjective. Do you remember the adjective? And you say, how are you? And you answer, I'm horrible. I'm terrible. I'm awful. I'm sick. I'm great. I'm happy, I'm angry, I'm hungry. So let's practice this. Let's suppose that you are sick. Um, supongamos que usted está enfermo, escoja una de las enfermedades que vimos, and I'm going to ask you, just a second. So who wants to start? Hand up if you want to start. Let's start with Melida Saray. How are you? Hello, Melida. How are you? Are you sick? So, what's the matter? I have a I have a flu. I have and, a flu. And a rash. I have a flu and a rash. I have a rash. I can't listen the second sickness. Um, rash? A rash, the flu and a rash. So what do you recommend her? ¿Qué le podemos recomendar a ella? ¿Se acuerdan de las oraciones imperativas? No haga esto, take haga lo nap. otro. Take a nap. Now take a nap, tome un descanso. Evelyn, can you please repeat? She takes a, a tea. Take a hot tea. Drink, drink a hot tea. Any or other? Drink syrup. Okay. Take a syrup. Syrup. If you right. have a flu, uh, rest in bed. Oh, rest in bed. This cancer. Don't work, Don't work too hard. Oh, don't work too hard. Si está enfermo, no trabaje mucho. Don't work too hard. Oh, drink okay. chicken soup. Oh, drink a chicken soup. Things. That is a nice advice. Y que sea India, por favor. Drink. <laughs> uh, okay, let's continue with Janet. Hello, Janet. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm terrific. Oh, but the refix it's okay, friend. So I can oh. ask I can ask you what's the matter because you are great. You are great. Okay, thank you, Janet. Uh, Carla, good evening. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Um, I'm awful. Okay, you are awful. That is that means very bad. Uh, what's the yeah. matter? Uh, I have a backache and I have a diarrhea and mm -hmm. I have a, <laughs> oh my God. a headache. Oh, oh my God. Grave, Carlita. <laughs> Go to the doctor, Carla. <laughs> okay, that is the best advice. Uh, visit the doctor. Visit the doctor. Okay. Visit the doctor. Oh, 
diarrhea, backache, and headache. Okay, probably dengue. <laughs> probably. <laughs> okay. Okay, and let's continue with Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. How Hello, are you? Good evening. I am great. You are great. Ah, okay. Yes. I'm happy you are great. Roxana Thanks. Abigail, good evening. How are you today? I'm sick. What's the matter? I have a headache and I have a toothache. Headache and toothache. ¿Qué podemos recomendarle? Which are some advice we can say to her? Take a pillow. Take a pillow. Take a pillow. Take don't, a pill. Don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. Go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. Okay. Drink tea. Drink a healthy. Okay, it's uh, take a pill. Take a pill. Because a pillow is an almohada. You say take a pillow. Excuse me, pill. <laughs> pill, tea. no problem. We are learning. Okay, so in that way, we talk about the illnesses we are suffering with. So what's the matter? You say, I have. I have a headache, I have a stomachache, I have a backache, I have an earache, I have a toothache, y de todo lo que estemos sufriendo. I'm stressed, estoy estresado, etc. So let's continue then with the presentation. Then we study the next topic. Let's see. Talking about abilities. Talking about abilities that we and others have. Habilidades. Que tenemos que otras personas tienen. And we use this. Can't. I can play soccer. Si tenemos la habilidad, we use can. Si no tenemos alguna habilidad, we say can't. I can't cook. Can't. And if we want to ask, we use, can you, can you drive a car? Then, ponemos el auxiliar can at the beginning of the sentence, and then we have a question, can you drive a car? So I am sure that you remember this. So which are some of your abilities? Let's start with this picture. ¿Cuáles son las habilidades de ellos? Can you tell me, please? They can cook. They can cook. The next. They can swim. They can swim. He can swim. Okay, he. He can swim. What about him? He can climb. He can climb. What about these two people? He can work with your son, with your daughter. Oh. He can play the guitar. Ah, oh, she isn't working. Ah, no, 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 uh -huh. no, el dibujo bien. Okay, no problem. But good answer to She can work and take care of her daughter. That is an ability, right? Puede trabajar y cuidar a su hija al mismo tiempo. Nice ability. But in this case, she can dance and she can play the guitar. guitar. Okay, the guitar things. Let's see the next picture. Oh, here it is. He can play basketball. Okay, he can play basketball. Okay, let me ask you some question. Who in your family can play basketball? Who in your family can play basketball? And then you say, my son can play basketball. My grandfather. Nobody can play basketball. <laughs> nobody can? Nobody can play basketball. What about your husband? Only I he can. can he can play football. Oh, he can play but so soccer. can play, yes, but can play basketball. But he can't. But he can't play basketball. But he can uh, any other student who in your family can play basketball? 
No body? That's my, good. My niece. ¿Cómo se dice sobrina? My nephew. My niece. No. My niece. Ya. Yeah. Nephew es sobrino, ¿verdad? Nephew es sobrino. ¿Y sobrina? Niece. Niece. My niece can play basketball. Okay, let's go with the next picture. Who in your family can cook? Me, teacher, you say, me, I can. I can cook. I can. I can. Ah, okay. My grandmother, my grandmother uh, can cook. Okay, excellent. Let's 